Hello everybody, um, today we're going to start using the roots sets of tools to build a WordPress local development environment. It was said it's a professional way to develop WordPress themes. And uh, well, anyway, in this session, we're going to first set up a trellis. And let me first give a, a brief introduction to these three things what are they in this a site called the roots.io you'll find uh, this is three set of tools let's go first go to trellis to see what it is okay so actually let's read from here a little bit you can see trellis is a wordpress development and production server down the right automatically create a provisional server to host wordpress site with a better rock wordpress Bulletplate organize your WordPress project better, improve configuration files, manage plugins with a composer. And then Sage is WordPress starter thing that lets you build better things faster than uh, with improved web tools. Now, first, let's go to Trellis to see what it is. Trellis is um, a WordPress web and a production server. So it's first, uh, let's see. The advantage of it is use Wigger and Virtual Machine for development. Uh, it's automatically create a self-contained virtual machine. Stop cluttering up your host machine with a software like a map and use the same software you would in production. Second advantage is a complete WordPress server. You will get a complete WordPress server running all the software you need configured according to the best practices. All this is powered by Ansible. For configuration management, you don't have to use Brito and confusing bad scripts or worry about commands you found to copy and paste. The third advantage is a provision a remote server and deploy to it with a single command. Trail is all about de development and production parity. What does this mean? Your developed virtual machine and your production are as similar as possible. This gives a confidence to know that if your WordPress site works in development, it will also work in production, and you can deploy with confidence. The fourth is a zero downtime WordPress deployment. So, you know, Trellis does atomic, atomic uh, deploys, where the server or Git clone that is database, a uh, code base, create a new timestamp release folder, running Composer install, and then update the current symlink to the latest release. Your web server will always be serving the latest code in each deployment. So the, let's uh, also look at a bedrock, what it has to say. So um, rather, let's wait for that next time. So, so this session, we're going to basically locally set up Trellis. Okay, so in the next session, we're going to build a few sites with the bedrock and the sitting on the same virtual machine trellis that uh, leave it different than the documentation or the example shown here. But uh, it will be, uh, you know, more flexible for you for the development. Basically, in one machine, you can develop a few other uh, sites, uh, I mean, uh, multiple sites on one virtual machine so for the web and production services purposes so normally you want to have one package one trailer setup with one bedrock setup then with one sage theme for the site and that's the set of tools but in my case i want this with one virtual machine i wanted to uh you know running on the back end then it would be web few sides using bedrock and sage okay so in my uh, in this case we're going to go to follow this documentation as I can open this folder uh, this is tab sorry and then github gonna open up its repo on github site so in when you open up the documentation you will find the first thing tell you is install trellis we're gonna follow the requirements here so you can see it required three software set up your on your on your machine that is composer for managing php packages and virtual machine for running a virtual machine locally the vagrant that is a server uh, 
native element, you know, the server basically. Okay, so let's read this. Trellis rely on a few other software tools. Make sure that all dependencies have been installed before moving on. That is Composer, VirtualBox, Vagrant. You can follow the links to, to install each one of them. They all have a Mac and I think have Windows version as well. Uh, I'm familiar with the using Mac system, so uh, what you're going to search out in the window or Linux system, you have to do that yourself. In this tutorial, we're going to use my machine, that is MacBook Pro. So this is a minimal minimum requirements for the development server. Vagrant automatically take care of the answerable dependency of Folas by default. To speed up future uh, virtual machine provisioning of remote servers, you will need to install Ansible locally on your host machine. Uh, you can see other things. So basically, here we're going to follow the instruction here and start the web. So in my local D, prior to this development, uh, already installed this for example. So I'm going to remove the uh, folder and start a new. So, okay, it's got the new folder. So, what I'm going to do now is from here you can make a new folder, mkdir, new folder again, then cd, to it, CD into it again. So, uh, D, okay, now you can see there's nothing else. Nothing in this folder is a new folder basically installed. And now we're going to go to the GitHub repo for Trellis and begin the following instructions here. The first thing you want to copy is this one git clone and uh, this in depth one stuff like that, that, that. Basically, copy this whole thing and then paste it in. Now you want to delete this address for the git pack, uh, git repo, replace with uh, this URL, and uh, and then you should be able to you see install Trellis in its independent folder. Okay, so that's Trellis is done. So now we're going to uh, go. On from here to uh, set up a bedrock. Okay, so 